Next up, we've got Kanako Murata taking on Vanessa Demopoulos. And Vanessa Demopoulos is a 9-5 and five fighter. She's 3-2 and two inside the UFC. But in her last fight, she did miss weight for that contest. Showed up 117 and a hook, and that is not going to do for the UFC. But she's back this week, and she's supposed to be making that 115-pound limit again. So she's getting back in there after missing the weight in May. Now she's coming back in September. Is she going to have a better performance here? That I am not sure about. Uh, Vanessa Demopoulos has a couple wins in the UFC, but a split decision that she probably didn't deserve over Jin Frey. I cashed a ticket there, but I'm willing to admit, you know, that was a very close fight. I don't know that Vanessa deserved the nod there. Um, you know, Maria Oliveira, uh, she got the win there. Another low-level girl who struggled to win fights in the UFC. She beat Savannah Gomez Juarez, a girl whose grappling is just not on the level for the UFC. Um, and that was in a fight where she got dropped, rocked, hurt badly there. Her face is a magnet for punches. I've always said that in my breakdowns. Look at the Lupita Godinez fight regionally. She got hit, rocked, dropped, bloodied up, you know, just battered all over the place in those fights. And she also got beat up by DJ Aldrich in the UFC, uh, who has a little bit of susceptible grappling at times. So I just think of her as a, a girl that, you know, she's been beat up in a bunch of fights. Uh, she was TKO'd by Caitlin Chukagian back in the day. And y'all that know Caitlin Chukagian know she don't TKO people. So I just think of Vanessa as too hittable, uh, too small, you know, undersized for the division. And she's taking on Kanako Murata here, who is going to be a little bit bigger, going to have a, a length advantage here. Um, and, you know, it says fight ready on that biology. I don't believe that's true anymore. I'm not sure what Vanessa's current training situation is. But what I can tell you guys for sure is that the Japanese women's wrestling team is the best wrestling program in the world. Um, so, yeah, um, I look at that and I say to myself, you know, Kanako Murata, uh, she comes from a good base. Her last fight out against Verna Dandaroba, I mean, they dealt her from the absolute bottom of the deck. Verna is an elite wrestler and grappler in her own right. Um, so for me, I just think of this fight and I say, you know, I expect – Kanako Murata to get the win. Uh, she shows a win on her resume over Emily Ducote. That's a high-level win. Win over Angel Magana. That's a UFC-level win. That was over in Ryzen. Uh, her only loss prior was to Rin Nakai. And Rin Nakai is another girl that had way more experience than her and I believe had fought in the UFC as well. So overall, for me, this is just a clear setup fight for Kanako Murata. Um, I think that Kanako Murata is probably going to... Uh, to beat the brakes off her. I think she's just a, a better physical athlete. She's also five years younger in the spot. So for me, the danger here is Kanako Murata getting submitted by a girl like Vanessa. But I think that Kanako Murata is probably going to win this fight um, before I look at the tape or anything like that. It just seems like a setup to me.